Hey, what's up guys? Thank you for watching the channel. Uh, my name is Jeremiah, and today I'm going to try to introduce something new to the channel. I'm going to try to introduce uh, some quick tips. Um, pretty much every Saturday, I'm going to try to post up at least one quick tip. I think the name I landed on was Super Fast Saturdays or something like that. And it's going to be quick tips, uh, you know, pretty much uh, about the programs here I use in order to go ahead and, uh, you know, make films or tutorials, whatever the case may be. And um, I can't promise that it will be strictly for filmmaking because I do know um, a lot of other things. Uh, I know hardware and program languages, you know, Java and Linux and everything else. So I can't really make any promises, so don't, don't hold me to that. Let's just get that out the window. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and violate the rule anyway, today, but the first one. Um, this one is uh, in correlation to, um, let's see, uh, I recently update my computer here at home. I updated it. And Microsoft decided to create like a disk partition on my computer. Um, I was getting some weird error messages at the bottom right hand corner telling me um, about free space so on disk E or something. And um, I was trying to play like Fortnite and other games. And that message would pop up and it would just freeze my game. I'm like, oh. So I Googled it and I tried to see if anybody else had um, problems with it as well. And they did. And I don't know if you guys know how to get it off or not. So I'm going to go ahead and share my knowledge of how to do that. Let's get into it. I'm going to try my best to keep the quick tips underneath uh, three minutes. I uh, can't promise that it will be, but nonetheless, it will be, you know, short. I won't try to drag it out any any longer than I have to there. <laughs> so, um, let's go ahead and throw about three minutes on the clock, and uh, let's step into it. So here I am at my desktop, uh, as you can see here. Um, if you go to your bottom left corner, well, even before that, let's just show you that it is off my computer. So uh, here it is, it's off my computer. I have my three hard drives that was installed that I did, not you know, Microsoft. So um, yeah, I have to show you that. If you go ahead and click on your Windows icon, you type in C as in Charlie, M as in Marvin, D as in David, that should bring up your command prompt. If you right click on that and run as admin, just say yes to this, it's giving you complete privilege to make you know, modifications to your uh, system, okay? So here we are in the command prompt. I'm going to make this window a little bit bigger for you guys to make sure you see it. <laughs> so here I am in my command prompt. As you can see, I'm clicking everywhere and things are happening. But here I am in my command prompt. If I type in uh, this part, it's going to run some sort of software uh, inside your command prompt on your Windows machine. And this just allows you to go ahead and uh, select your volumes, your hard drives, whatever that's on your machine. So what I'm going to do now is list uh, volume. Okay, it's going to list all your volumes right now that's currently installed and running or on, on your machine. They're not necessarily running, but they're on your machine, like your machines acknowledge them. Like you went through the necessary process and you gave it space and a name. Okay, so um, when I did this, um, I had um, E, I think E was on four. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it was on four. Like, so this is my backup, this is my hard drive where everything boots from, and this is another hard drive for me. But E was created and it was here on 4. So how you get rid of it is pretty much that you have to select it. So let's go ahead and select it. Okay, so let's go ahead and type in select, volume, and then you punch in the number associated with the disk. In this case, I'm going to go ahead and do an example. In this case, I'm going to go ahead and select uh, my hard drive uh, B. So I'm going to go ahead and type in 2 because it's associated with it. It's going to tell you that volume 2 is now selected. Okay, cool. If I want to go ahead and like get rid of it, is this an easy command? <laughs> Doing a lot of things with my hands here. So um, the next thing that we're going to go ahead and type in is remove letter. And you want to type in a letter that's associated with that hard drive whatever Windows created on your computer. It may be Z, it may be F, I don't know, it may be L, O, I don't, I don't know what the case may be, but I know on my computer it was called E. So if I wanted to go ahead and like, you know, remove B, I was just typing B, and yeah, it would get rid of it. After hitting enter, it would go through a necessary process and telling you that it's no longer installed on your computer. And um, once you do that, if you did it correctly, if you go ahead and go back to uh, this thing here and scroll down, it should no longer be on your computer. So that will uh, cure you of headaches <laughs> and other things there. And that's pretty much the quick tip of today. Don't know what else to say.
Thank you guys for watching the channel. If this helped you out by any means necessary, please make sure that you do subscribe and uh, hit the bell to be notified by any new content that I post. I will be posting more frequently. I know I have said that like years ago, but I will. I will. <laughs> I will, I will be posting uh, more frequently. The goal for me is to post up at least 200 videos this year. And um, if I have uh, you know more support of doing that, that's great. If I don't, that's that's also fine. That's just a goal for me that I set. So um, make sure you guys are around to be a part of that. Uh, thank you, and I will see you in the next one. Okay.